Guys, next week we will be in Los Angeles. And with that in mind, as we get ready for Super Bowl 56, some some big questions to ponder as we start to preview these games. And let's just start with what the Bengals are, are capable of doing now. I think the most fascinating question to me is, what if Cincinnati wins? Because I still think if you look at what they've done, they feel like they're a year ahead of where they should be. They don't have a very good offensive line. That was something they're going to have to address and will address this offseason. They have Joe Burrow in year two coming off an ACL who has already won the AFC and is leading his team to, again, hypothetically here, winning the Super Bowl. They have Jamar Chase on a rookie deal. They have Burrow on his rookie contract. Very uh, inexpensive superstars right now. What, What could be with this franchise over the next, let's say, three or four years, where are the Bengals by 2024 if they win on Sunday against the Rams? I think the expectations should be the same as when Kansas City won a couple years ago against the 49ers uh, in that Super Bowl. I I think really the only difference is that Kansas City rise we saw the year before where they lost the Patriots in the playoffs in a home game. And so there was a little bit more body of work where they were, you know, they had the, the playoff experience before. The Cincinnati story is just so out of nowhere. In year two for Burrow, they go from terrible to Super Bowl in one year. So does that lessen some of the expectations for where the franchise could go? Uh, could it be a dynasty the way we were talking about? Hey, Kansas City's going to have a chance at a dynasty. It hasn't delivered on that so far. They've been obviously relevant every year, but I really think the expectation should be near Kansas City level if they're able to win the Super Bowl in year two for Joe Burrow. I think we have this conversation and anytime somebody wins, we're presuming a, Kansas, a Cincinnati win here. We have this conversation every time a team breaks through and wins. Seattle won, right, with Russell Wilson. And they were destined to win a couple. Now, they didn't win when they called a bad play at the goal line. Should have won two in a row. And turned Malcolm Butler into a hero. But then they disappeared, and they they, they didn't win. The greatest show on turf was a team that had to win more than one. I've been part of electing a bunch of guys from that team to the Hall of Fame, and they only got one. There's a but here. They had to go through Brady, both of those teams you're talking about, to win more than one. Right. And... To me, the Bengals are the Buffalo Bills, except they've already they they beat Kansas City at Arrowhead. The Bills have not done that. And here's Cincinnati not being mentioned in the same conversation as the the next big team. I think we all look to Buffalo to be the next Cincinnati or the next Kansas City. But to me, the Bengals, if you say they're actually a year ahead, if you agree, and I think Paul, you do. If that's true and they address their offensive line issues, they can absolutely be the team to go through. They could. But, I mean, the the Bears, 85 Bears were supposed to be the team to go through. Uh, Historically, the the odds are you don't turn into the dynasty as opposed to you do. Well, again, not dynasty, but the team you have to go through. Multiple winner, yeah. Kansas City's still that team. Yeah, But if Cincinnati, after going through them to win the Super, I mean, they're absolutely in that conversation immediately oh, absolutely. for me. And, they, and they, they, you know, you would expect them to win a couple in uh, the Burrow era. But, again, like I, you, you expected that from, from Favre. You expected it from Rodgers, and it, has, it hasn't happened. But the difference is Favre and Rodgers are the quarterback of the Green Bay Packers. We're talking about the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, the who, lowly Bengals. Who three weeks ago hadn't won since the 80s in the postseason. Yeah, I mean, he's, th- this is certainly the start. Uh, never set the Super Bowl wins right. aside. Certainly the start of what should be a glory era for well, the Cincinnati Bengals being in contention. Here's how I would equate it. You knew that Peyton Manning was going to have to go through Tom Brady and the Patriots to win a Super Bowl with Indianapolis. It took him till 2006. That season, that breakthrough down 21 to three, comes from behind, beats the Patriots, goes on, beats the Bears in the Super Bowl. You knew coming into this season, we said it all year, it goes through KC until proven otherwise. Burrow's done that in year two already. He went to Arrowhead, won. If they go and win the Super Bowl, 
Who do you have to go through in the AFC now? Josh Allen hasn't done it yet. As great as Josh Allen is, um, you, uh, the difference to me is it's not just Brady. It's this three-headed monster now of roster set up to be great for a, a while, you think. Yeah. Things change quickly, but it's not just the Patriots, and it's not just Peyton Manning trying to get over the hump and beat Tom Brady. It's Burrow's already done it. Mahomes has reached the mountaintop. Burrow has a chance now to do it. Josh Allen hasn't done it. And those are the three front runners, and it's this spinning wheel every year of, well, who's the team to beat now? That's the difference, but to me, the expectation is what the expectation was for Mahomes. Win multiple Super Bowls. Mahomes hasn't done it yet, but if they win this year, I'm expecting Cincinnati not just to win one with Joe Burrow. 